What's good, y'all? your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we got to talk about, obviously, Roman Reigns coming back to WWE, the much-anticipated return, and how everyone is excited to see the OTC, the original Tribal Chief, back on WWE television. And I was thinking about this yesterday. After everything was said and done and, you know, I went back and watched his return again and it was such a good moment. When you go back and you watch when his music hit and his new rendition of his theme music hit and the excitement, the pop that came when people saw the head of the table had returned. That is something that... WWE and especially Vince McMahon had always wanted Roman to receive that type of reaction. And it was such a surreal moment because that's what he's always wanted. That's what Vince, that's what WWE as a whole, that's what they wanted for Roman. For many years, they wanted that reaction and to see him come out there and to see the excitement of everybody in that arena that stadium essentially it made me think i think roman now is the biggest baby face in the company i posted this on twitter let me post this right here let me make myself a little bit smaller so y'all can see what i'm talking about follow me on twitter if you haven't ross's clutch i posted if you really think about it roman now uh roman is now the biggest baby face in the company this is what vince always wanted roman to be and it's happening just with just without him being around. And the reason why I say that is because this is what people have been clamoring for. We knew as soon as Roman brought a loss at um, WrestleMania this year that he was most likely going to be a babyface whenever he returned. And to see that reaction as for him as a baby face as a face that is is really is is cool to see because he's always been getting some good reactions as a you know as this cool heel but also at the same time roman was so good he knew how to actually make you hate him he wanted you to cheer whoever he was going against because that's the whole idea of the match he's the guy that uses he, you know uses the bloodline to help him stay as champ We've seen it with so many people where they would, the crowd would be against Roman. Even though he's the cool guy, majority of the crowd would be against Roman for his heel-like antics in the matches. Yeah, he seemed cool and chill when he's doing the promos. He would heal it up every now and then. But he was able to get the baby face, whoever he was facing, to get the much-needed cheers to see, can this person dethrone Roman? Can this person overcome the odds? And that's what a good heel does. Yes, they can recognize that people like them, but they know how to make people hate them. And that was what he was good at doing. So when he lost at WrestleMania and we knew he was going to come back, to see this reaction, to see the type of reception he got from the fans, it's hard to deny that he isn't the top babyface in the company. Now, some people would say, no, he's not. He's not a a, a true babyface. Even someone said, uh, I could see him being a tweener. He's not a tweener. He's a good guy. He's the cool good guy. He is what, if you guys remember what Stone Cold was. Stone Cold was a good guy in the sense of he was doing things that the fans wanted to him to do. He was doing things in a way that fit his character, but fans wanted to see it. Now, some may say it wasn't morally good, but at the same time, he's doing things that he feels is justifiable and the fans agree with it. Hence, he would still be a babyface. You can say he's a tweener technically because he may be doing heel-like things. He's not the ultimate babyface. But if the fans deem him as a babyface, he's a babyface. It's as simple as that. And he did something. He helped out Cody. May It wasn't... It, I guess you can say because he's friends with Cody, but he helped him out. The Rock has done that in the past. Stone Cold has done that in the past. They weren't friends with certain people, but they would help them out. That's what essentially would, would define you as the good guy. You're the good guy to a lot of people's stories and the same thing in this situation. Solo had became this, this 
want to be tribal chief that the fans didn't want it made sense they played into that angle and now they wanted roman to come back even more to set things straight after everything that roman has done to all these different opponents they wanted him to come back to set things right and it worked that's why i say right now he is the biggest baby face in wwe yes cody is still there but i think Cody is more of the ultimate babyface. He's the guy that's going to sign the the kids' posters. I mean, he was walking out to the ring. He was knew he was about to be in some some serious serious situ like a serious situation with the bloodline rules. But he's out here signing pictures and 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 taking pictures with people and and smiling and 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 holding babies on his way to the ring. He's the ultimate babyface. Roman's not doing that. Maybe behind the scenes, but he's not doing that on camera. And he's still a babyface. There's a, there's, he's the John Cena. He's the John Cena, the Hulk Hogan's of the world. And WWE has always had that. And it's funny, WWE wanted Roman to be what Cody and John Cena and Hulk Hogan was in the past. They wanted him to be the cookie cutter babyface. But once he went heel... We knew he couldn't ever go back to that. He had to be, as a babyface, he would still have to be more or less himself, but more, his actions would be morally better than what it's ever been as the tribal chief as a heel. So that's why I say that. I do think it's an interchangeable situation. I do think when Roman's not there, Cody is obviously the top babyface. When Roman is there, Cody may dip just a little bit, a little bit, but, you know, we still know Roman is still the top baby face going forward. And it reminds me of the Rock and Stone Cold. If you guys remember, when Rock was there and Stone Cold wasn't there, obviously the Rock was the top baby face. When Stone Cold was there and the Rock wasn't there, we knew who was the top baby face, Stone Cold. And when they were both there, it was more of like, you know, you could say back and forth in the same thing here. The fans were going to be cheering for the rock fans were going to be cheering for stone cold it was one a one b you can it will be interchangeable depending on how you you know how you viewed it you know but they were mega over and the same thing here it's an interchangeable situation but the difference with roman is the fact that we didn't see him for a while so absence make the heart grow fonder this is why I say also at this present moment, he is the top baby face because everybody's been wanting to see him. You've been hearing the we want Roman chants for a very long time and everybody's been wanting to see him and now they get a chance to see him. So wherever city he goes to, he's definitely going to be getting the loudest reactions. And let's not even forget the biggest caveat here is when The Rock returns. You don't think The Rock is going to be upset with Roman for helping out Cody, the guy that disrespected their family that sparked this whole WrestleMania storyline. You don't think The Rock, the final boss, is going to be like, what the hell is this, Roman? Not only did you let him beat you, you help him? You stopped Solo from becoming the tribal chief? What? And you help Cody? You know The Rock is going to turn on him. And that's going to make him even a bigger baby face. Because now people are going to want to see Roman get his revenge on The Rock and stop him. That's the end goal for Roman Reigns and The Rock, their story. Rock is going in as a very big heel against Roman Reigns. The returning Roman Reigns trying to set, set things straight and then have The Rock turn on him too. It writes itself. So, yeah, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with the notion right now, without a doubt, all I needed was one night to see in that reaction, 50 plus, plus thousand people. And it's going to be like that wherever city he goes to, Roman is the top baby face. Doesn't need a championship. He just is because people want to see this side of him now run as the good guy, essentially. He's been the bad guy for a long time, the cool bad guy. Now they want to see him come back as the good guy, the cool good guy, which I think he's going to be able to pull off perfectly. I also want to show you all another tweet in response to this, and I thought this was really good. I had to retweet it, actually. This tweet right here. 
this was in response to what I had uh, said that, you know, um, Roman is the biggest baby face. This person said Slim Reaper 2014 through 2019, he was the hated hero. 2020 through 2023, he was the love villain. 2024, he's the wanted hero. And it's all come full circle. If you really think about it, from 2014 to 2019, they forced this guy down our throats and we didn't want him as that version of himself. He was the hated hero. 2020 to 2023, he was the love villain because this is what we always wanted from Roman, but he was cool. It was cool to put the ones up. It was cool to acknowledge Roman Reigns. But he was still the bad guy and he let it be known he was the bad guy. And now, in 2024, everybody wants him to come back. Everybody wants the tribal chief, the OTC, to come back. He finally does to a very loud pop. He's the wanted hero. That was a perfect, perfect way to describe Roman Reigns' character run in WWE. Comment down below, let me know. Do y'all agree with me? Do y'all feel that Roman Reigns now just after his return he's the top baby face in the company do y'all still think it's Cody or do y'all think it's interchangeable y'all let me know there's no wrong answer here I just want to get y'all opinion on things and I'm looking forward to what they do with Roman leading into these next PLEs and hopefully down the road we get that rock and roman match at next year's wrestlemania but i appreciate all love support road to 150k appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace